We are seated and we commence the conversation about a woman that says, I will not forgive. If you do me, I will do you even worse. People, you heard her confession. My lady, relax. First of all, what I'll say is the friend didn't do well like, by more treating the children. But what she did was so bad. She was having evidence. That was the video she got. So she could have just sat her down with her husband. Then they watched the video together. Then she can just suck her. Yeah, that was the best thing. But what she did wasn't right. Yeah. What she did was not right. Yes, uh, from my left. Um, yes, my lady. Miss Nancy, I'm Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Now you sprinkled whatever you sprinkled and then she stepped on it. You, you are also likely to be charged of murder or um, attempted murder because what if she died? If, and if she died, it was a spiritual killing. It wasn't physical. There was no evidence to it. Okay. That's why she is frustrated with the knowledge that she came to confess. Don't you think it's because people like Chloe would always say that, let it go, forgive, and that's why we have people like that in our system? Okay, Miss Nancy, I'm not saying she should let it go, but she could have used the right channel by going to report to the police that this is the case. Moreover, you have evidence, the video, it shows all that she does to your children. So it would even speak for you without hesitation. But she sprinkling whatever, whatever, it wasn't a good option. It wasn't. So many cases like this happen and you take it out to the police and then you get families coming in to come and apologize and going to see your parents and your church leaders and everybody would say that the child is not dead yet, so let it go. But she doesn't have a heart of forgiveness. Yes, Harry. Hello, Miss Nancy. Um, Hi. I'm Harry. First yeah. of all, what the lady did was wrong. Was very wrong to abuse um, those kids, more treating them, doing whatever it is that she was doing. And if she had not watched the video, that would have been a different thing. But she watched the video before, went to, before going for the voodoo powder or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And that is totally wrong. Uh, it's very unfortunate. Uh, as for the mother, you have your proof all right. Mm -hmm. The CCTV TV, has uh, yeah. proof, revealed every secret or every hidden things um, to the light for you. Mm -hmm. But you should have confronted the nanny. Um, please, why do you do that? And if at the end you have to give the report the case to the police, let the police deal with the nanny. And some. These days, uh, some things are going on which I don't like. Like, oh, if I confront her, she, 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 she will not tell me the truth. So let me also take the action uh, to my hands and then do whatever do I want to do. And I wonder why people, there are some cream priests, fetish priests, who are also offering such a resort for uh, people. Even in the Bible, it says that Evil shall kill the evil. Bonnie Bekuma, Bonnie, for more attention for a bread. Oh my God. Because if I happen to be the fetish priest and mm -hmm. this incident comes to me, I would rather also come in and then uh, advise. Please go and tell your nanny this and that and that. Oh, 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 how about that? So they, well. they, they are just there to support evil and make sure that. No, 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 no. No, no. no I mean, they, they render a service of. What you do, then you I have to bear the consequences. So I take your money your and then I'll kill the person for you. Well, oh my God. I do not know son. about that, but uh, since oh. we do not only want to be the ones have an opinion on this conversation, a great Oguchuku, a man with a deep head, a man, he is a lecturer, he is a lawyer, he's an author written great, 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 great books. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Oguchuko to the studio. Oh, yes, Ogu. Hey. Hey. Nice to see you again. Mwah. Please have a seat. You, you are welcome. Thank you so much, Miss Nancy. This is Confessions. It is. It is. Ogu, you're welcome to Confessions. We know the story, mm. but you need to listen to her confession. So let me just give you the opportunity. Let's take the confession yes, and then we get to the discussion. Sure. 
I'm Miss Nancy. I'm a businesswoman married with two kids. And due to my kind of work, I barely sit home mm -hmm. or stay home, so I don't have time for my children. Mm -hmm. So my husband and I decided to get a nanny. So mm -hmm. I had to tell my best friend who entrusts someone with me. And since I can't trust my best friend, I felt, oh, it's okay for me to trust this lady. So fast forward, this lady came to stay with us. Mm -hmm. Everything was okay. Mm -hmm. But Miss Nancy, it got to a point <laughs> Anytime I come home, I see bruises all over my children. Mm. And my children normally sleep very early, but this time around, they don't sleep. Mm -hmm. I'll come home at 11 and they'll still be awake waiting for mm. me. Mm. And sometimes, if you should see the way these children will be fighting with me over my food. Mm. And I asked this lady, what's up? Why don't you give my children food? And she said, they, they do eat and they've eaten already, blah, 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 all sorts of stories. So it wasn't really getting into my ears. So I had to find my own means to find out the truth. Mm. So my husband and I decided to get a CCTV camera. Mm -hmm. And Miss Nancy, who, lo and behold, if you should see the way this girl as much treating my children, beating mm. them, mm. starving them. Mm. The food I told her to give my children isn't what she gives them. Not at all. But does she have children of her own? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if she does. Mm. I don't know. But I thought I could trust her because of my friend. Of course. Were you I, paying her though? Yes, I was paying her. She was staying with us. I was paying. She wasn't using anything. I was feeding her. I took her as my younger sister. Of course. And I mean, you would trust and you would take good care of a woman that is taking care of your children. Yes, of Just course. so yours would be safe. Miss Nancy, this girl, it really got me. I was heartbroken to see my children in such state. So I had to take action on my own. So I went somewhere. I, they gave me a drug to put it on in front of my door and then anytime she step on it she gets sick and eventually die. That's what I was told. So that is what I did. Somewhere like a doctor or somewhere or drag, I mean what do you um, mean by a priest. A fetish priest yes, you mean? Yes, and he gave you a substance yes, that you were supposed to sprinkle on your door. Yes, so if anybody that has done you evil passes on it. Yes. The person will get sick, and you sprinkled on her door. Yes. And as we talk, she's really sick, very sick. I was the kind of person, um, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Hey, woni paboni, paboni check akwa. Aunt Nancy, remember I said my yard. How can you mature? If it's an adult, you would be excused, but innocent children. They weren't lacking anything, so why should they go through such a thing on the name of help? So currently, what is the state of this person? For now, she can't do anything. She is sick. Very sick. Very sick. Are you sorry? From the beginning, I wasn't sorry, but now I think it's, it's, I've gotten over it. My children are better now. Okay. And they are in good hands. Okay. So, I think, I don't know. The anger has gone down yes, and you're ready to forgive. Yes. Do, do, do you know where the fetish priest is? He's no more there. Huh? That is the problem. So what it means is that this woman would be sick and she would die. Yes. But you are sorry. Yes, I am. Oh good. That is quite wow. a confession. Wow. It says my children are innocent. Yeah. You can hurt me, but not my innocent child. Yes. I will not let a slight. I have something with which I can deal with you. Absolutely. And she dealt with her she drastically. Did. She did. She did. Ogu. Hmm. Forgiveness.
<laughs> letting go. Saying, it's fine, I still have my children intact. Sometimes these abuses would even have a long-term effect Absolutely. on the child. Absolutely. When do we forgive and when do we do the eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth? Hmm. Well, what are you... <laughs> This is a tough one, I must say, yeah. you know, because while I was listening, I was also thinking about the fact that I'm a parent. You are. How do you feel? I'm if, a mother too. I'm know, a mother. Absolutely. How, mm. how do you feel if you found out that that was happening to your mm. children and by no other person than the person you trust with their lives, their welfare, their well-being, their safety, you know, first you feel and very... And you are paying her for it. you're paying her for it, you know. You, you, first, you feel terrible, you feel foolish, you feel used. You know, mm. it exposes the realities of bitterness, mm. you know. And it's, it's easy for us to just sit back and say, oh, forgive. she went too far. Oh, forgive. Vengeance is mine, say the Lord. Mm. You know, let karma catch up with her. Mm. There's so much you can say, but that is the ideal situation. Some of the times, you never know what you're capable of doing until there's a trigger. Uh -huh. I know. You know? I know. <laughs> and, and so it, it's not just a reflection of what she's done. It's also a reflection of the kind of person she is. Yeah. And, and reveals to her what she needs to deal with in her life. Mm. You know, because today is this friend that is a house help. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow it could be her husband. Tomorrow, yes. You know, the next day it could be somebody if, else. If a woman... Well, you know, it's got to do with her children. Yes. As a, as a mother, I, I feel. Absolutely. You know, that, and, and that is an extreme situation. But then, you know, we, we always encourage that we find a way to resolve these things and not put yourself into trouble. Mm. There are situations where people say that they are willing to go to jail for their children. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, uh, technically, every mother can. Absolutely, mm. you know, and fathers as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> well you know. they should be grateful that they, you are in the seats tonight, right? <laughs> you know, but, 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 you know, zeroing into what you talked about, about, you know, forgiveness. Yeah. Forgiveness is not a very easy thing. No. And people usually mistake forgiveness for healing. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to say, oh, it's okay, don't worry. But it doesn't mean you've healed. But. You know, so the day people forgive is not the day they heal. Mm -mm. And until they heal, the bitterness is still there. Yeah. Watch your back. Mm -hmm. You know, it means it's not over. Mm -hmm. And the pace at which you heal and the pace at which I heal, they are not the same. Mm -hmm. My emotional intelligence or the level of my emotional intelligence and yours are not the same. So there are situations where people actually tell you, oh, it's okay, don't worry, you know, just sit down, let's have lunch. Mm. And they have a bottle and they'll just smash it on your head, mm. you know. And so I always tell people that anytime you see someone that looks at you and says, forgive and forget, <laughs> that person is either ignorant or manipulative. Yes. Because the human mind was not created to forgive and forget. And forget. You can't forget. You can only remember without bitterness. Mm. See? You will forgive, but you will not forget. No, you will not forget. You will never forget. You can only remember without bitterness. And in her situation, it was difficult for her to heal. It was difficult for her to forgive. And she knew that had she spoken with her husband, perhaps she it would have taken thing. a totally different turn. Mm. And she didn't want that. Mm. So what she did was what she wanted to do. And, and, and that is where I fear that what she did was premeditated. I mean, it is because this is a woman that has been somewhere Absolutely. and has taken a substance I was waiting to for use it. those <laughs> who would do her evil in the future. Absolutely. Absolutely. No one had done her evil, so she went for what would make her feel good or help her or bring her favor, whatever. And she also took a good measure pressed up for those who will do her evil in yes, the future. Absolutely. Yes. That is why I was saying that, you know, now that she's done this, you never know what 
other triggers would happen mm -hmm. and it could happen to her husband mm -hmm. or any other person that is close to her because clearly she is not very good with managing betrayal mm. especially betrayal of this betrayal. kind betrayal yes it the was management of betrayal yeah it, this this is this is tough i mean for any parent listening at some point you would almost say she got what she deserved. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, but yeah. then there's, there's that better side of you that is saying, could we have handled it differently? Yeah. You know, and, and, and then you see as well that it, there are people that when they are very angry, they act. Then after a while, you know, oh. there's a retrospect and they, they wish they didn't do what they did. And mm. she also falls into that category. When you are angry, take a breather mm. because you could do things that you would never forgive yourself for Absolutely. and others would never forgive you. Anger is a killer. Yes. Let's take this break. I will be right back. <laughs> yes, we're still here in the studio talking about a woman that could have forgiven but decided that no, I will not forgive you. Whatever it is you did, I will do worse to you. Mm. And mind you, if you're all over the place hurting people, I pray you meet one of this woman. <laughs> I pray you meet a woman like her so that you get a good measure, press down, shaking together, <laughs> running over. You will learn a lesson. But we're still discussing. She didn't let go. And she found ways yes. to deal with her. Yeah. Yes, KFT. Thank you for the opportunity. Miss Nancy, uh, every mother mm -hmm. will fight for his or her children. Mm -hmm. Even my mother always tell me that she, she, she's ready to go extra mile to die for me. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, I don't blame the woman that much. We are in Ghana. We know that our justice system is, sorry to say, is poor. Yeah. If you don't have money, backyard case. But this woman did the right thing by protecting herself and her family before the issue came in. So you think that she was even protecting other families that this woman would have ended up in? Because when a woman is a nanny, usually they stay a nanny for a long time. So yeah. from this house, they move they to come. another. Yes. Maybe Can she you imagine she what she would have done to the next children she handled? Well. Maybe, Maybe she, she was doing before. it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe she met her meter. So she deserved it. So you think that this woman is her karma bars that has arrived? Yes, that has stopped her. <laughs> well, let me get to the lady. Yes, mm. my lady. Oh, Miss Nancy, good evening once again. Hi. Um, le let's be realistic here. It's my children you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Nine months of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. It's complication and all those things. Charlie, I'll do it, Papa. Mm. I'll do it. I'll even do it. My kids, you're feeding on my own food. I'm paying every month. And you're doing this to my own kid. Miss Nancy, I'll, I'll do more than that. Thank you. Uh, she's being honest. Yep. She says that when it comes to her children, she can do anything. Absolutely. Oga, the people we hire, the people we bring into our homes to take care of our homes and then our children. Yes. Yes. What characteristics should we look out for from these people? Usually, I would just take you to the hospital. We'll do the labs Fitness and tests, know yeah. that you yeah. are fit for Absolutely. the job and I let go. Yes. Now, just to continue, you know, from where you stopped, apart from the abuse, now these children have suffered domestic violence, mm. as it were. There are many young people, you might even have some of them in your audience, that mm. lost their virginity to house helps. That story. Yes. I you have know, heard too so many, many times. times. Young men, my friends, and they will tell you that their first sexual experience was with their house house. Yes. Some of them, some of them that's how they learned to masturbate. That's the, all the struggles they are having in their adult life now happened then. And, and some of the times their parents are unable to tell where mm. these things happen. Now, for those that also believe in, you know, the spirituality issues and the witchcraft and all of that, they would tell you that there are kids that also were initiated into all kinds of occultism and all of that through the house, house elves, helps. you know. And so parents have got to be very careful who they bring into their homes. Can the 
can't just decide that if we are married and we have a family, can we women go back to being just house helps and taking care of our children until they, they, they come of age? That is one option, but you know, the choices will also come with consequences. You have a woman that is building her career, you know, and it's very interested in pursuing that path. And, and then, look at the impact we are making. Yes. If we were just stuck in the home taking Absolutely. care of the children, how Absolutely. would we do this? First, to make sure that you've done your due diligence. Ask on all the, the questions on the person. That's one. Two, this CCTV thing, you know, make sure that you're in charge. Technology has amazing. helped us so much. Ah, you know? Put your hands together for technology. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, amazing how I can sit here and within five minutes I can just go into my house, check the sitting room, check the kitchen, check. Absolutely, you know, and, and those things are so helpful when the house helps know mm. that somebody's watching you. Yeah. They're a bit more careful. Mm. So now I, I, I'm not depending on how credible you are. I'm just going to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Mm. That's another option. Then I think we should go back to the extended family system. Huh. Pay attention to it. You know, you remember when we used to say it takes a village to raise a child? You know? You know, when we were growing up, we whether there was a house help or not, we had our grandparents and all of that, and even the person next door is watching you. Oh, yes. So all your mom needs to do is, oh, um, Mama Joa, I'm going to the market, so Junior is inside. That's all. And when you come back and the neighbor says you misbehave and he punished you, your mother will beat you on top. <laughs> Times two. <laughs> for misbehaving for the neighbor to see. Absolutely. Ah. We, we need to go back to those support systems. Hmm. You know, we, in, in, the, in, in trying to be civilized and all that, we now build fences that are higher than our lives. So. And so you have people now that die in the apartment their neighbors do not even know. And so we need to bring back some of this. Oh, God, we need to go back to the village. <laughs> because this is Accra. Yes. Your next door neighbor is from Benin. Mm. The other is from Togo. The other yes. is from South Africa. Mm. The other from is that from Anlo and all over Ghana. Yes. You are not related to them. You probably do not even speak the same language. Yes. But, but there's just something about um, the, the mentality of a space. Mm -hmm. When you walk into an environment, you learn how things are done in that environment mm -hmm. and you just apply yourself. Right? Yeah. And so if you're in an environment where, even though we come from so many places, places? you've seen that there's this you know, communal living that goes on, people look out for one another, mm -hmm. you'll just get involved immediately yeah. or you won't be able to thrive in that environment. Yes. You know? And so it's also something that is lacking. Parents should not be too ambitious to realize what is going on in their homes. homes. You know, she was even observant. She was paying attention. Mm -hmm. You know, she and gets she home. She noticed. She noticed that the children would stay up absolutely and eat with her. Yes, and she saw that this is not normal. These my are not the kids. Mind, uh, my kind mind would even tell me that oh, my daughter misses me. That's why she wants to eat my food too. I wouldn't even think that she's been staffed. Absolutely, see. Because I'm not oriented to think that another human being I've, I, I've given food for. See, you're so nice and you become naive in the you process. Know. You know. Because why would somebody want to treat a child like that? You know, but these, these are realities. And so, and so the reality is telling us that you, you can't take anyone on face value. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you are good doesn't mean that everybody Everyone around else. you is yes. capable of doing what you do. Mm. So you need to be very careful. Do not take people at face value. Watch. Even the Bible says, watch and pray. Let's take this break. When we come back, more. <laughs> We are still here dealing with a woman that says that I will not forgive you. I will pay you back. And that is exactly what she did. My lady, are you here? Are you following the conversation in the studio? Yes, Miss Nancy. And are you good? Please come again. Are you good? Yes, please, I'm good. Yes. Are you regretful of what you did? Um, Miss Nancy, as the saying goes, Time heals all wounds. Yeah. But I don't mind doing it again if someone should dare my children. But why are you here? I am here because I feel I went too far. You went too far? Yes, please. Hmm. Is there a way 
we can fix this. Is there a way the woman can get healing? Um, Oga is here. Let me ask Oga. Ogu, so sometimes they say that when you do evil, no matter how much evil you do, and you say, I'm sorry, and you mean it, you heal. If this woman would confess to the children she harmed, not probably this woman's only, but probably others that she had done in the past, do you think that she could get well? I believe that that is a very good step for her now trying to resolve her own issue. It's a very good step to take. That actually will help begin things because now the, you, you, you don't know. Let us assume that actually, you know, it's this um, substance, mm -hmm. you know, that is causing, causing whatever it her. is that she's going through. You know, these spiritual issues can be reversed as well mm. just by virtue of the position you've taken. Yes. The fact that I am sorry, I, I wish I didn't do this. And the, the sad thing is that until she confesses, the guilt is contributing to her problem. Mm. You know, so she will need to speak out. And the question you asked has actually created an avenue for our dear friend to also, you know, find a way to deal so with the matter. So do you think that it's ideal for Madame here to go see this woman and say the listen, you did so, so and so to my children and I paid you back. And I think that if you are sorry for what you did and you apologize, you would be well. I, I think that that would be a, a good thing to do, but she needs to start it by speaking to her husband. You see, mm. that mistake of not engaging her husband in this whole thing, you know, from what she's saying, she's a spiritual person. So she recognizes that she's not the priest of the house. Mm. So she needed to have engaged the priest of the house. Mm. And in doing that, first, she's also correcting the anomaly. Mm. And every correction is going to bring about the healing, healing. that she's, yes. Because awesome. she, she's, she's sad about what she's mm. done. Mm. Mm. Now, uh, um, she, she is still there and I'd want to ask her this. My lady, is your woman aware that you have a hand in the sickness? that she has miss nancy no please so she reaches out to you yes please and she asks you for help yes please can you imagine yes you hurt my children <laughs> and you get sick and for that matter you leave my home yes. and you still reach out to me to yes. ask for help yes. don't you think that if, if she gives her even another penny she gets even worse yes and and you know that that's the thing about weak, wickedness if you've seen people that practice wickedness, they also feel very entitled. It works together. Mm. And, so, and so she's, mm. she's not paying attention to the situation. Mm -hmm. And even by helping her father, she's compounding her problem. Yes. You know, so th there, has to be, there has to be a balance somewhere. There's a song, if you do good, you do for yourself. <laughs> you know if you all do the bad, songs I love here. Yeah. Uh, we listen, <laughs> if you do good, you do for yourself. If you do bad, you do Same. for yourself. That one goes to the other friend. Mm -hmm. The one who was abusing the children. Whatever she has done has come back to her. And you see me, I keep saying we are Africans. Africanism is something that we cannot do away with. Mm -hmm. Christianity has become part of us. Mm -hmm. We are learning and taking the good part of it. But you see, we always forget the spiritual and certain details in the Bible that mm. when you do wrong, those wrongs come back at you. Mm. And people forget about that one. And we talk about just prosperity, moving on, forgiveness, let it go and the rest. This is happening among ourselves. Not just households. Husband, wife, wife, husband, Children among peers, even your own siblings, whilst you are home, all these things are happening. And there's something that I want all of us to look at. This woman, why did she, in the first place, went in for that spiritual power? Hmm. That in case something, somebody does wrong to me in life, I would deal with you. The person should take this thing back. They call it back to sender. In spirituality, they call it back to sender. And then also, 
in the laws of Ghana. We don't believe in spirituality. When you go to the courts, there's no spiritual court in Ghana. <laughs> unless you go to your ancestors. So whoever is going into uh, this spirituality, going to seek for these powers and stuff, you should know that in the near future, you cannot reverse all. Uh, my senior counselor was saying some of them can be reversed. Assuming now, the spiritualist is dead. The things that he used in doing all this consultation and incantations and the rest, others will tell you we are going to reverse it. But it's not going to be easy. So let's try and be nice. Let's try and be kind. Let's try and be careful what we do. Because what you do will come back at you in the near future. If you are out there practicing wickedness, witchcraft, doing evil, and always thinking that you would be forgiven, tonight you get to know that there are people who would not forgive. Let us go on into the streets and hear what people have to say about this story. So I think whatever the nanny did was quite wicked and uncalled for, but the employer should still go back to the nanny's family and then redo whatever was done by the purchase press and then give the family a little money. I will advise the woman to just forgive her, though what she did was very bad. She has to forgive, go back to the family, and if there is anything necessary for them to do to bring her leg back, or better still, she can also support them with some amount so that they can even visit the church or some place to at least. Nowadays in the Ghanaian society, if she tries to open up to the family and tell them the real, like the exact situation that happened, they might end up criticizing her. So the best thing I would say is that she should go back to the priest. If possible, there is something they can do to reverse what they did to her. They all didn't do well. So the woman should go and then see the nanny's family and then they talk over this and everything that has been done should be resolved. So without a sin, there's no forgiveness. So they should both forgive each other and then seek the solution to all this so that everything comes back to normal. We are here and we never would end the show without some recommendations, some suggestions to make her feel better or to correct the wrong. And so let me listen into the studio if anybody has a suggestion or a contribution that would help make the situation better. My lady. Yeah. Hi, Miss Nancy. Hello. I'm Dockers. Hi, Dockers. Yeah, what I want to add to it, first I wanted to ask her a question. Go ahead. That before she going to get the nanny for her case, at first, because she has been coming home and she has been meeting the case with those brutal scars Bruises. and all this, yeah. did she ask the nanny what was going on? Like how come the case has those kind of bruises on them? Like how are the case? From her narration, if she asked, the woman would say that they were playing and they got hurt. Yeah. And for children, you would believe it. So that is what was happening. Yeah. Yes, you had a solution. Thank you very much, Miss Nancy. My name is Esther. Hi, Esther. Um, I'd want to applaud the woman first and foremost for the thought of bringing the CCTV cameras. Mm. That was a good move. Mm -hmm. um, fast forward, I would want to advise not just the lady, but everyone out there that it's justified to get angry. But what you do when you're angry is what counts. Mm. So I know, I know it's, it's a very, very difficult task to let go when such a thing happens to your children. But please exercise patience. Take a breather, like you said, and re like take things into consideration. And I believe the decision you arrive at will be a calm one. That Thank will you. go a long way. Thank you. Gentlemen, Harry. Uh, I would take your word and then I would want, I um, mean, Ogu to talk about confronting situations. It looks like we were raised not to have a voice, not to talk about things that are bugging us, pray about it hmm. and let it go. I will come to you. Yes, Harry, your solution. Yeah, um, I think now she has um, taught the lady the lesson enough. Mm -hmm. So I think the best thing is for her to forgive her go reverse it, and then call her, sit her down, and tell her, look, this, this happened to you because I did this. Yes. And because of this, next time, when you leave to a different house,
don't ever repeat that same mistake again. Mm. I think she will learn from that. She's learned her lesson. She's paid her. It's enough. She should take steps to reverse it. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, give it up for Harry. That's not bad. That's not bad. I, I want to come to Ogu. I want to come to you, Ogu. Confrontations. O Oga, I'm not good at confrontations. Absolutely. I'm not good at it. I don't want to say things that I have to take back, and I don't want to say things that I, I will regret. So uh, there is nothing in between for me. I am either loving you or I'm not. Absolutely. So you frustrate me, I'll not ask you questions. I'll cut you off. Mm. Yeah. Confrontations. Yeah. Can you talk about it? So um, dealing with issues like that would always depend on your mentality, mm -hmm. your background, your orientation. You know, how have you been groomed to deal with issues? Mm. Like what Solution was talking about, mm. it is very possible with the kind of heart she has, yes. it is very possible that if she had confronted that lady, she would have killed her. Mm. She would kill her one time. Mm. You know, it would have been worse than we're talking about. It would have been far about. worse than what we're talking about. Because whatever it is she did, she took her time, thought about it, and planned it. And you see, in the same vein, what she didn't realize is that it could have been her children that walked past that substance. Yes. That's what bitterness does to you. Mm. You know? In trying so hard to hurt others, yes. you end up you hurting yourself. yourself. Because you did that in the same space where the children you're trying to protect and fight for mm. leave. And your husband. You know, so it could have been far worse than what we're talking about. Yes. Now, you also talked about, you know, church. Uh, I think, Faminyami. You know, let's leave it to God. Mm. Let's leave it to God. Let's mm. leave it to God. I can tell you for a fact that that is also one of the reasons our legal system is not developing. Yes. Not just in Ghana, but in, in the whole of West Africa, because we have that, you know, that mentality of let's leave it to God. God it's will judge. It's a family friend. It's a family friend. We know friend. them. Things like that, you know. And clearly, she didn't want that solution. Yes. That is why she acted. So I, I would like to encourage everyone, especially mm -hmm. parents, mm -hmm. we need to teach our children the art of problem solving mm. and problem prevention, mm. especially when it has to do with conflicts. Mm. We need to find a way to learn mediation for ourselves mm. and to understand that this action might give you that momentary pleasure of, okay, I've, I got you back. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you will regret what you've done. Thank you, Ogu. Your last words for the woman here, and then we'll be out of here. Yes, I, I'll, I'd like for her to make the move. Have a conversation with this lady. Of course, involve her husband. They should have a conversation with this lady, whether she admits it or not. There's a video to show her what she's done. Yeah. You know, and then let them make moves to reverse it. A dead one is no use to us. A dead one is no use to us. Yeah. Yes, uh, every now and then it's okay for you to teach somebody a lesson, but how far would you take it? Now be careful that in teaching somebody a lesson, you don't hurt yourself in the process. This has been Confessions on TV3. My name is Miss Nancy, and I hope that God willing, next week we come your way again with another awesome one. Thank you for watching. <laughs>